focus. Focus. And we're focused. What's up everybody? How y'all doing? What's going on? It is, it's a late night here at the office. I am, uh, I am burning the midnight hour as, uh, as my mom or someone used to say, uh, but I'm up here late because we actually have, um, we got two shows coming up this weekend and I need to get ready for those. So this is like the official busiest last weekend of the year. We've got a concert, uh, like a benefit concert thing. Um, we've got an MMA event, which I will personally be at. I won't be at the concert sending other people to do that. And then we've got four weddings. It is a, uh, it's a pretty busy weekend here at the office. So you got to do what you got to do. There's not enough time in the day. And here I am. I never, I never like leaving this space with anything charging just because things can happen, you know, wires can get hot, batteries can get hot. If I'm not here to turn something off, um, I, I just hate like leaving here overnight, letting them charge for 10 hours. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. There's gonna be times where I'm not gonna be in direct line of sight with my gear charging because my gear is not at my home. Uh, back when I had it at my house, totally different story but that is not the case now um so i always like have a, a little weary feeling when i leave here and i think i found a solution that will help ease my anxiety all right making our way out here to the shop it's really putting those new lights in the uh in the content creation studio room uh really makes it look dull out here and i i put these uh I put those LED lights in and I thought it was awesome, but as you can see, it's just like, I gotta, it's not as bright as those. There'll be a video on those to come. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm getting off topic here or I'm, I'm getting distracted. I own, I own 32 of these up lights. They are from Rasha Professional. I've had them five, plus years and they all work and they're all doing just fine. I put them inside of this case to charge. Um, they've got the typical uh, IEC input and then you can uh, power link with the regular old Edison output. Um, and they charge here in the center. I do have some of the, the plugs that are going bad or don't work, which is why I have tape over them. Um, but a lot of you guys have this same setup. You've got an ATA road case. Uh, notice the plug fixtures in before closing because I want to make sure that I could just pop the wire into the side, plug them in, and they all start charging. I don't want to have to unstack and make sure they're in there. Just uh, if you've got people using these make sure they plug them in before they shut this thing down but anyway a lot of you guys have the same setup ata road case uh and then you plug it in on the side again um I bought these from parts unknown, so the QC is not there. Um, but yeah, those are the those are the up lights I have. There's uh, 24, I believe, here, and then I've got another case of them right there. Again, a lot of you guys have these same up lights because uh, they come from parts unknown, and uh, unless you're buying from a major manufacturer, um, people will tell you that the the lights are crap. They catch fire. Um, you're gonna have problems with them getting hot and stuff like that that goes for any 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 light period but i will agree with the fact that if if you're ordering direct from overseas or, or maybe not one of the major manufacturers some of the qc uh, is is not on par with what you might expect from uh, from a reputable company. It's 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 a part you you pay uh, for for getting a light so cheap. And uh, back when I got these up lights, and even still, I, I still think um, the the stuff that I have now works fine. Um, and for what they are, I'm not too concerned with uh, with buying a cheap light from from parts unknown and and maybe not having it for five or six years. But the ones that I've had have worked out 
Fine, I'm getting sidetracked. This is not about Chinese lights. It's about charging them. So um, I charge these things up generally, I, I, whenever I leave here at six o'clock uh, in the afternoons, I plug them in and I pop, you know, I'm back up here between 7.30 and eight o'clock um, and they're still on, they're fully charged, but I've noticed whenever I come in, um, they're warm because they, they should not be plugged in that long, but it's what works best for my schedule. I bought something today that I think will ease my nerves when charging things not here at the shop and also limit the time that they're plugged in if they're if they don't need it. I think the longer you keep something with a battery plugged into it, um, it I think it just degrades the battery over time. I think that's been proven. Uh, but anyway, I bought I bought this thing at Walmart today. It's a uh, it's a digital timer for uh, for a uh, outlets in your home uh, or it's it's indoor outdoor so even outside um and the reason why it came to mind is because of course christmas here is in a couple weeks and i you know i'm going through the process of putting lights up on my house bringing everything out of the attic and out of storage and really taking a look at what i got and i forgot that i had one of these timers so my christmas lights don't stay on all day long and i got to thinking you're an idiot why haven't you been doing this with your up lights? Pretty, that's pretty genius. You're welcome, you're, you're welcome. Now this is a, uh, I guess that's the brand My Smart Touch plug-in simple set digital timer. It's got two uh, regular old outlets in there. Now I will say because these things pop up uh, for sale um, most often around Christmas time with people putting lights out on their their homes. Um, a lot of these will not come with the standard three prong grounded outlet. It'll only come with the two prong outlet because that's generally what most uh, Christmas lights and decorations use. Uh, of course, we always want any of our expensive high dollar cheap Chinese equipment to be uh, protected. So we need that ground plug, right? So whenever you're looking for these make sure you're you're looking close don't buy one without that ground plug because you you really do you need it you need that ground plug all right so what i'm going to do because this is a digital one they do make an analog one that you can just set with little uh dip switches or or the similar um i'm gonna set a generic time on there and then i'm gonna have it on my countdown where it will only charge for six hours so they'll come on they'll charge and then six hours later it'll shut back off because that's all i need to charge my up lights Now, I will say that this is a 15 uh, amp, 1,875 watt, uh, that's what it can handle. So um, be sure to know what your equipment puts out, you know, what it's, what kind of juice it's taken. If you don't know how to do the math on that, or you don't want to do the math on figuring out how many amps uh, your system takes to, to charge or to run your DJ rig. This is information you should know. Um, if you don't want to do the math on it, there is a handy dandy tool out there called a kilowatt and it's surprisingly also common uh, and popular for sale around this time because people want to know how much extra energy they're using whenever they plug in their, uh, their lighting extravaganza outside of their house. Um, I, whenever I have 24 up lights charging in their cases, it pulls right at like six amps. So this is, it's perfect. It's freaking perfect. I think this evening time, I should just be able to press this button. It's going to know my time of here and uh, it's going to charge them for seven hours. This morning would be good if you've got rechargeable batteries, let's say for uh, your camera equipment, your GoPros, all that stuff. Uh, if you only want them to charge for three hours at a time, bingo, a bango. I think, I think this is going to work, guys. I, I, I think it's going to work. All right, so I actually lied to you. It's 11.04, and I've got this thing set to come on at 11.05. I just went in there and set my time with these up and down switches. It was very simple, so I've got it for my on time, my off time. I've got the on time set for 11.05. My off time is set for 11.07. 
So um, let, hopefully we can catch it live on camera. I've got my uplight case, uh, or I've got the thing plugged into the wall. I've got my uplight case here going to my power con. I just heard it kick on. Let's put this on the ground. It's 1105. And if you can tell by the fan, they're all charging. If you look closely, they've all got these red lights that indicate charge. So that's awesome. While the time is going by, I do um, I do want to let you guys know that I charge these with the lid closed. Um, yes, it traps a little bit more heat in there, but in my dumb bro science theory um if i if i charge them with the cases open if there was a catastrophic failure it's got all of the oxygen in the room to to create the fire um, if i charge the the lights with the cases closed it limits the oxygen inside of the box and hopefully it would smoke itself out before it like caught a blaze um, so if you're using bags of course you know it, it is what it is but if you're using these road cases i would recommend that you charge them with the lids down that way uh, if something does happen the odds are very slim i've heard very few horror stories maybe like one or two in my career i'm sure it's happened to somebody um, but it hasn't happened to me and I've had these things for five years. They've been dropped, kicked, uh, hot environments, cold environments, and they, they still work perfectly fine. So, um, this thing is still charging. What time is it? It's 1106. Let's see. Let's see if it shuts off at 1107. Oh, just turned off. All right, so now we've got one and two plugged in. I know it says it'll handle it, but let's just for scientific purposes test it. Sweet. Charging. What about this case here? And charging. Awesome. We're gonna call this a success, um, and I, I set it for, for six hours, and we'll just leave it like this and let them charge overnight. Again, I charge mine with the, with the lids down. You, your mileage may vary. Sorry, I got a green screen set up. Uh, but yeah, so I, I think that's a I think that's a success. I would call that a success. If if it works, awesome. If not, I, it cost me 10 bucks, but I, I really think it's gonna work out. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come back in the morning, make sure that all the uplights are fully charged, make sure that no breakers tripped or the, the little timer didn't flip out or anything like that what i'll do if you don't want to make your way to walmart or anything like that i'll put a link down in the description where you can go and purchase this on amazon um save you some some hassle at the store but uh yeah ho hopefully this little tech tip helps somebody out there if you've got a, a good way of charging your up lights um that's better than this i would love to know it leave it down in the comment section below um and we'll see you on the next one later